welcome back to Art from the Heart. I'm Jeannie and today I'm going to do something a little different with some functional art, which are functional art is something that you can use like with cooking. This is a little tiny cutting board that I found, found a whole set of four in two different shapes. This is a rounder one square at Aldi's. Have you ever heard of Aldi's? five dollars so that's going to be a really good that's a good find that's going to be a really good project these are little they're small but they're going to be cute my first time doing it and i'm going to be using some mixed media on it with um glass and different things so this is sanded on this side i just prepped them because there's some little imperfections so you just want to get the oil off the front as well just very slight sanding. Then you'll see what I'm going to do by covering the back with uh, tape to so that the drips don't fall on the back, okay? So I'm going to get those ready now. Okay, as I said, I'm going to get those ready now. I did wipe them all off with a little alcohol just to get everything off, all the sand. I got a block because it's so much easier to use and I really mean a very slight light just to take off sanding just to take off the oil. I will be putting a conditioner. You can, there's an oil or a conditioner that you can put on after to bring back that, that um, shine. So let's get going, they feel really good. Now this side has square, this on the back, this square. I'm going to do this side. This, this will be the back when intentionally I think that that's also something that you could use for the front. So I'm going to do this side. Then I'm going to raise them all on a cup. Okay, so now I'm going to get them ready by sealing off this section so that this is where I'm going to resin. Okay, so I made it a little bit over the edge, I'll be trimming that. And you just wanna take something to make sure that that is down. I'll be doing the little hole here as well. Um, so I'll be cutting that out. So this is just to protect it from dripping on the sides here. Do you want to do that little hole?
Okay, now it's time to take the tape off. I just took this one off to check it. It's about 45 minutes after, maybe even a little more. nice okay these are beautiful seriously really beautiful it was challenging doing three so close together like this this is my first time doing it so I really wanted to try a few different things and that's how you learn Here we go. Just want to get it at the right angle. So, 45 minutes is good. To get a good line. After everything is dried, everything is cured, this is what I'm going to put on it. You can get butcher block oil. The conditioner would be good too. I didn't sand, overly sand, to take away any color. Just a little of the oil so that everything would stick to it. All right, we'll come back when it's all cured. Yeah, they're not 100% cured. That is so pretty. I only peeked a little while ago and um, gave it a few more hours. So now we just take off the tape on the back. So I can use a heat gun to soften this if I'm having issues here but it's all coming off pretty well. Beautiful. But you can use a heat gun if you have any that are difficult, more difficult to come off. We'll see if I have to. came off nice, very easy. And just take it off. Just like that. So I have to do the finishing touches. That is beautiful. And then I'll put the conditioner on, the butcher block conditioner. And I'll show you that. So again with this, I would take this and just scrape it off. It's pretty thick. See? And I am going to take the heat gun to that.
Let me grab that. Much easier. Pretty. Okay, so everything is cleaned up on these. The backs are done. Everything has been taken off and sanded lightly. So I'm ready to condition them. Everything looks good. Okay, so I'm going to actually do some on the back. This just brings it back to life. And I did take it off here where there was some that drip under the tape and I just took that off there. And there you have it. All right, so I made these with leftover resin. So they're not actually cured. It's actually been maybe about 23 hours, but I can take them off. They still have a lot of curing to do. Isn't that pretty? So I made these with leftover resin from my cutting boards. Look at that.
Oh, that is so pretty. That's the cover. Let me get that back in to clean all that out later. The only thing about this is it doesn't hold securely. So it sort of dried a little different. The trick is to loosen it. here. I'm going to start pulling it over. It's a tough one. It's pretty hard, so I think it actually is very cured. soft so that's good that I was able to shape it a little bit better oh that's nice look at that So with it being soft, I can sort of form it a little bit better. Oh, look at this. I put the white in exactly the right place. Look at that. I was trying to do it mid. That worked out beautifully. You see that? I wanted to have two different colors on the top. Oh, that is so perfect. Now this is very special. This is a little angel. This mold is very, very, very soft. I'm just going to have to turn it out. I should have sprayed my mold release in this. Love it. It's beautiful. 